welcome back to another episode of by Britain world and as promised today i have my video showing all my new custom guys so i have finished them i actually finished them a few days ago um just you guys know my schedule is monday and friday and i posted four videos um technically this week for me uh but yeah so that was pretty insane um so yeah so that was way off schedule four videos um that last week uh but yeah so i said that i was gonna post this on monday um i can't I really remember exactly what day I finished these, but I believe I finished them on, um, Friday or Saturday, but, um, so yeah, so, or, yeah, I believe Saturday, or no, yeah, I finished them Friday night, so yeah, so I finished them Friday night, uh, but I'm showing them today, uh, so yeah, so, basically, I have one, two, three, four, five, I have technically, like, five minifigures, two, you could count them as minifigures, but, yeah, so, technically seven minifigures, and then I have a weapon with a custom, a custom weapon with a custom base plate, uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, so just in case if you have not seen these, um, I know I showed some of these on camera, but some of these I don't think I've ever even showed on camera. But these are my old custom guys that, um, if you're saying, wow, these are horrible, um, yes, I agree with you actually. Um, these are pretty bad, but uh, yeah, so this is like Ray from Ghostbusters, that's like his little proton pack on the back right there. Um, and just little Ray right there, so he's pretty bad, um, but, and then I have, like, all these guys from Call of Duty Ghosts that I made, this is, like, Scuba, that, like, well, Scuba Keegan or something, um, so, yeah, and then one of the Space Guys, um, and then I have Rourke and regular Keegan, all from Call of Duty Ghosts, um, so, yeah, but they are also pretty bad. Um, I've seen worse custom guys, but, I mean, all those are not that much better um and then bane from batman the dark knight rises he's probably one of my for my old custom guys he's probably one of my best ones actually uh for my old custom guys um but they did get a little bit better um this is hawkeye i had I had to switch him out switch his hair out and his face out quite a few times so he just gets more inaccurate and inaccurate as i make more custom guys pretty much and then benny uh he's pretty decent um since like see he, he doesn't really come in that much um packs or he's somewhat of a rare minifigure i even like kind of cut his little thing right there to make it even more accurate but yeah that's benny and then um i wanted the full vendors team so yeah so there's hawkeye that was hawkeye and then i also made black widow she was probably she's probably one of my for my older custom minifigures she is definitely probably like one of my best ones she is actually not that bad um and then i made falcon he's not too good but i mean he's not bad either but my best probably my best custom minifigure for all my old ones i made a whole video on this a long time ago but it's iron patriot from iron man 3 since he, he's my uh favorite iron man suit but that's his back and then i even put the little gun and you can just see i did all the details they're not as much details as it's supposed to be but i mean for my old custom minifigures he's probably the best ones so yeah so for those older custom guys these are my last ones they, these guys are all star wars um, since that will be the main fe um, focus of this video, I think all my custom guys except for one are Star Wars, including the weapon. This is uh, Darth Sidious. He, he, I didn't even color his back because he used to have a cape, but I used it for someone else. But he does have the golden hilt, and I mean, he's not horrible. Um, I've done better custom guys, of course, like you guys have seen. Um, and then for clones, so I could have like all the main like clone commanders and everything. Here is uh, Commander Wolfie. I, he's not really custom. Like I have his full body, as you can see, regular. I also have his... um is a headpiece especially for um commander wolfie or wolf or whatever but uh yeah i just made his helmet the blue did kind of somewhat fade but you can see it is on there and then i did the yellow and the red and everything so he's not horrible these are probably definitely my best two custom clones and probably a tie with iron patriot for my best custom guys for how old they are uh but yeah so this is commander cody and captain rex so there's the backs of them um, I did some arm printing, and then the front of them, those are the guns I gave them. Uh, but then there are both of them. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty decent. They, those are pretty good. And then my last custom guy for now um, is this guy. I sh can't remember if I did or when I did show this guy. But, of course, you can tell by the lightsaber, this is Kylo Ren. I did, like, one of these, like, short, like, kind of skirt little cape things, and then, like, one of the medium-sized capes just to, like, make it so it's, like, um, how it is on the movie. Um, but he's not, for, compared to my older ones, he's not actually that good. Like, his mask is not horrible, but it's pretty bad. And, like, his, like, printing for his belt and everything, you can't really see that well and then that. But 
He's not horrible, but his lightsaber, I definitely do love. It looks almost just like the one actually made officially by Lego. So that one is actually pretty darn good. But now we get into the good stuff. Um, so those are all of my custom guys from a long time, from a while ago. Those are before I, like, started, like, painting and actually making, like, really good, like, legit custom Lego minifigures. But you guys have seen a few of them. Um, so yeah, so those are all those. Um, I do agree with you if you're saying those are bad. Those are pretty bad. Uh, but yeah. So you guys have seen these three. These, as of right now, before my uh, Star Wars guys, were my best um, custom Lego minifigures. I'm not saying any of my like, newer guys from the, that I'm going to show mainly in this video um, is going to be like any better. But like um, these, are, these, these three probably ha still have my two best custom minifigures. So you guys have seen this guy a few times. Um, I think he was first in like Daylog 21 or 22 or something. That was my custom Deadpool. He used to be like one of the older ones that I just showed you. Um, used to be one of those bad ones, but I took that same exact Deadpool one and made him from horrible to actually pretty good. Like this is what this is probably my favorite custom guy I've ever made. And you can just see he is if my camera ever focuses. Um, he is actually pretty decent, and you can see like. All the detail I put in there, I even got him that, like, Mega Bloks Call of Duty Desert Eagle and sanded off it so it looked more realistic. And I even did, like, leg printing for his gun holsters and everything, and back printing and colored his sword so those look awesome. And yeah, so that's my Deadpool, which I've showed you a few times. Wolverine, for how simple and everything he is, he's pretty good. I even did, like, the chest plate uh, markings on there, if you can see that. Um, and then, like, I colored his hair that, from Creo one of the Star Trek guys, and then his beard, so it kind of looks like Hugh Jackman and everything. I gave him the claw, so that's Wolverine. And then, out of those last three, this is my second favorite custom guy from those three, and my second custom Lego minifigure of all time so far. And it's Joker, the Jared Leto Joker from Suicide Squad. Um, and you can see, I actually made him a custom um, paper robe type thing. And you can see that on the back there and it just carries all around the other side and I even made him his custom um, from the Lone Ranger those like Lone Ranger um, revolvers I got a dark gray one of those and I sanded it down so it looked more like 1911 and then I painted it and then colored it and so I made it highly detailed and it looks just like his um, 1911 and everything so that looks really, really good I even did a little barrel on the tip there and uh, I did, even did his little smiley face thing right there so yeah, and then you can see it, you can even read like damaged on his forehead and like all of his tattoos and Gotham on his pants right there and his toes. And uh, yeah, so he's definitely, after Deadpool, these are definitely still my top two favorite custom Lego minifigures. They're really good, but now for the guys that I'm mainly going to show you. So um, yeah, so now I'm going to show you all the custom guys that I said I finished on Friday night. Um, and uh, yeah, so you guys saw the picture for the thumbnail and at the very beginning of the video. That is what these guys are, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to show those real quick, and I'm going to start with this, um, the gun, just because I don't have to put it on the base plate or anything, but um, this is the uh, actual hol holder thing that I made for it. As you can see, it, it is the um, DL44 D D D D blaster, which if you don't know, is Han Solo's blaster in episode 4, 5, 6, and 7 of Star Wars. Um, and yeah, you can just see I did that like base plate right there that says D DL44 blaster and then I did that white smooth flat piece on the top and then I did this like smooth, I did this um like cl um, completely clear round piece and then the, one of the side connector L pieces right there and then one of the flat 1x2 um, clear pieces and uh, yeah, so then I could hold that um, that thing on the front right there. So yeah, so that is the little holder for it right there. Um, but the actual gun itself, you would have got a little sneak peek right there. Um, this might be kind of hard to show since it's so small, but there it is. It is the DL44. This thing, I actually spent almost more time than I spent on any of my custom LEGO minifigures. Um, all these custom LEGO minifigures that I'm about to show you and this took me about three or four days in all. Uh, so quite a long time, but not horrible. Um, but yeah, but I was also working on them for around like 10 hours each, or probably around like like six hours each day uh, but yeah so this is the DL44 blaster Han Solo's blaster you can definitely tell uh, but basically I'm surprised I was actually able to make this and you would have saw that before and after picture at the beginning um, yes I actually took one of those Star Wars um, like pistol handgun sized blasters officially made by Lego and I took one of those and chopped off one of the scopes from the long like long big old rifles from Star Wars Lego Star Wars 
And then that piece I actually took from the bottom, from the back of one of the scopes on um, one of the pistol pieces um, from Star from Lego Star Wars again. And you know, guys know how on the back of the scopes it's like a cone shape like that. And then that's actually from one of like the silver like Jango flip blasters. I took um, I had uh, tons of extras of them, and I cut off that little square under like where the trigger is. And I glued that right there. And then this is from a little black like staff. And then I just chopped off a piece and put it right there. Um, so yeah, so that is that. And um, the handle I even modified a little bit. I actually got out a tiny piece of paper and then drew on it. And then um, so I would add that little like gray effect because the handle is like a little like really, really dark gray. And then I taped it on there all the way around and on the bottom and everything. And then made it like so it's like somewhat gray and everything so you can see the handle and plus it like on the movie it's a little more rounded than the rest of the gun so you can see it's somewhat rounded um so yeah so you can you can't really tell but there is paper on there you can see like it is a little gray but yeah so then basically i was really surprised i used like a hacksaw and cut off all the pieces that i needed to um sanded off the original scope off this blaster and um yeah basically just cut off all the pieces that i needed with this um hacksaw and then basically just hand sanded um, all the pieces down that I needed to like this side piece and everything so all of it would be smooth and then I colored it with um, a black sharpie after painting it with my white testers paint and everything and uh, yeah so I glued that barrel on the front that is the front view right there the back view right there so the scope like on the real thing is actually like somewhat on the side um, that's exactly what I did and um, yeah so you can tell um, that by the picture right here um, there's my there is trying to view it so you can view it all at once but there is mine and this is the real one so yeah so you can definitely tell that mine is really really good and that piece you would have saw from that picture that it actually is um, mine slanted um in the picture you can actually see that that piece right there is actually somewhat slanted mine is slanted a tad like a nanometer more but really it's pretty much perfect that part i could not get completely just perfectly straight like how it was in the picture like completely lines up with that uh but that's fine um but yeah so i was just really surprised i put gloves on and i was just really surprised how i could actually cut out like those tiny of pieces like you can see that's that's my fingernail to those and i was just super surprised how i could actually cut out those pieces with hacksaw and glue them on perfectly exactly where they needed to be and make a little tiny star wars pistol into this so uh, yeah so i was just really surprised that i could cut those out with the hacksaw and super glue them on there exactly where they needed to be um i even scraped it off with the with my little knife right there you can barely see it but you can kind of see how i did the little like trigger um kind of look right there but, yeah so that is han solo's blaster you can definitely tell that it is han solo's blaster and that is definitely my best Lego or just any toy blocks um, thing I have ever made. That is definitely my favorite Lego gun of all time. And basically when I put it on my Lego minifigure shelf and everything, that is how it's going to be. Um, it's really cool. It's kind of like my custom um, built US, USS Enterprise and Millennium Falcon. And it's kind of um, how they have like a little display thing saying what they are and everything. This one has one too. So it just sits on top like that and it looks really, really awesome. So yeah, so... Moving on to the minifigures now. Okay, so first off, you can see I did make IG-88. Um, he was on, I believe he was only on episode 5. Um, I, I don't know what, exactly what else he was on. Um, I'm pretty, all I know is that he was on episode 5 at Empire Strikes Back. Um, but he was the second, um, I heard that he was a second best bounty hunter of all time just after Boba Fett, and I guess Boba Fett killed him and everything. Um, I don't know if it was a deleted scene, but they said it killed him. He killed him in uh, The Empire Strikes Back, but it was, the scene was not in there on my DVD and everything. So I don't really know, but I guess Boba Fett killed him. But Boba Fett is the number one bounty hunter, and I guess this guy's number two. Uh, so you can see how I did it. Um, I know a lot of people do the cone on the bottom, but I don't really like that because if you look, his head is not near that tall. His head is about that tall on like it would be in lego but you can see i just did the classic gray legs the gray um robot body two gray robot arms the like light gray um wrench because i have a dark gray one piece and then you just connect that to the cone then i drew all the eyes and other pieces on there so yeah so i gave him one of those uh star wars long guns that that's actually the gun that i used to cut off the scope and put on this um, just I sanded off the front and like all those sticking out pieces and everything. But I gave him that gun so it would match kind of like his big old, um, big old like blaster rifle on the movie and everything. 
Um, and I haven't seen anyone do this, but if you can kind of see that, I actually did that little black line going all the way across right there. That's actually, like, his little, like, satchel thing that he has on the movie. Um, because he actually has, like, a little satchel, like, strap kind of going ac across there. And usually people just, like, kind of do this thing. But I haven't seen anyone do the satchel right there, so that's a little extra thing I did right there. But you can see all the eyes. I did, like, three right there, and then, like, three right there. Um, and then, like, that little red dot right there. So those are all, like... I was looking at a picture of IG-88, his full body and everything, and that's what I saw, and I did all the, like, little, like, hole, bl two black holes right there on his face, and those, that little black rectangle, but no, no real detail on the back, just looks like that on the back, and, um, so yeah, so that is IG-88, so that is the, probably the most simple and quick one to make, but it's still really, really cool, and pretty much anyone that knows Star Wars knows who this is, so yeah, moving on to the next one. Okay, so my next one is actually, um, counted as a minifigure, but it's a droid, um, um, and it's Chopper from Star Wars Rebels. Um, I don't actually watch Star Wars Rebels, but, um, he was just an astromech droid. I had the headpiece, so I was just like, huh, oh, okay, I'll just make Chopper. Might as well. Um, but yeah, so, basically, he doesn't have legs, um, and the reason why is because, I mean... I did not have any other legs. I made a custom R2-D2, which I'll show you after this guy. And I was actually really, really surprised that I could even find legs for him. Um, and I, th I found one, and I knew I had that one. But then the other one, I was looking for like half an hour straight in my Lego bucket. Finally found one. So yeah, so this is Chopper. Basically what I did is I sanded off the stud on top of his head. Kind of like I did with Deadpool here. Um, just to make it like smooth. Um, so yeah, so you can see that. And basically, I just did that. He doesn't have legs, of course, like I just said. And you can just see all the detail. His head, I really like how it looks. And right there, it is really good. Um, so, yeah. So, if you look at a picture of Chopper, um, I know his body is a little bit shorter. That's the other thing. Like, with Chopper, his body's shorter and his legs are shorter. So, that really, there was no way I could have done all that. But um, his leg is a little bit longer than it's supposed to be. But uh, it's still fine. Still looks like Chopper and everything. So, yeah. So, his face, I really love how it looks. Um, the body, tons of detail. And I love how that looks. You can definitely tell it's Chopper again. And then the back, just no real detail, but yeah, so that is Chopper right there. I really, really love him, so he's just a cool minifigure as well. So now moving on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is R2-D2, as I said, and um, this one I'm very proud of. I used to have R2-D2 from, like, the battle between Obi-Wan and Anakin, but I traded um a few of those guys away and everything. Uh, but I made a new R2-D2 that is even more accurate and everything than Lego's ver actual version. Um, and it's really cool because I have the regular just Lego C-3PO, um, not custom or anything, but it's really cool now that I, uh, one of the main reasons I made this is because, like, R2-D2, like, he's been in all seven, and I'm pretty sure he'll, he might be in it until the very, very end of all Star Wars movies, um, whatever that is, but, uh, yeah, so, he's one of, like, the biggest characters that's been around for the longest in Star Wars, uh, so, yeah, so, there he is, and it's really cool. Um, the other one of the other main reasons that I made him is so I could have R two D two and C three PO next to each other. So yeah, so that is R two D two again. I sanded off the stud on there. It looks a lot nicer without the stud. Um, a lot more like R two D two, and you can see like the massive amount of detail I did on his body right there. And uh, you can just pause if you want to look at that anymore. Uh, but yeah, so then his face I did do the detail. You can kind of see right here that his um. That little dot right there is red. That um, his eye is black. It's just it's so hard to kind of hard to see. Um, and then I did that little like tube thing on his face, tiny little tube. And his face does have a lot of detail. And then his legs, I haven't seen any, I haven't seen anybody do a custom R two D two that actually does like um, custom like detail on his legs too. Like usually people that I see do custom R two D twos, they just keep his legs white. Um, but I actually did do detail, as you can see, all those details. I did, like, the two yellowish-brownish wires on both sides. And then on the sides, I even did detail right there. And that's the side view of him. And then even on the back, I did detail all around his head, like, on Chopper and on the back of his legs and everything. Um, and, yeah, so that is the other side view. And, um, so, yeah, so that is R2-D2 right there. Hopefully you guys like him, and I definitely do love him, and I think he's... Awesome, and it's really cool that I now have C-3PO and R2-D2 again. So, on to the next one. Uh, so, this guy, you can definitely already probably tell who he is if you know Star Wars with the double-bladed lightsaber. It is Darth Maul. This guy, I um, planned to do all those other guys originally. Actually, I originally just planned to do Indiana Jones. And then, all of a sudden, I do all these other guys. And then, Indiana Jones was actually the last guy I completed. This guy was not originally... I, I planned to do all those other guys before this guy. I was not planning to do this guy at all. But then all of a sudden I was just like, oh yeah, well R2D, um, Darth Maul, he'd be cool. So I did used to have that one from the Clone Wars where he had like those robot legs. 
Um, but I don't have him, but I actually like this Darth Maul better, um, just because he's, like, the actual orange from the movie. Like, I don't watch any Star Wars shows, never had, um, but I just like the movies and everything. So, yeah, so this Darth Maul, his lightsaber definitely looks really, really good. Now I have two, like, some of my most favorite lightsabers. Um, I still like Kylo Ren's better, um, but Kylo Ren's and his are definitely really amazing. Um, so his lightsaber looks really good, definitely a flat red, because those were actually light gray, um, rods, but I colored them red. Um... But yeah, so I did have an extra one of those pieces from that Darth Maul that I just told you guys about. Um, so I put that on there. And then his face, you might be able to kind of see the detail on there. Um, maybe if I zoom in, there is a there is a lot, um, if it ever focuses, there is a lot of detail. You m might be able to see it. I don't really know. but um, So it's really hard to show on camera. But um, yeah, but he does have a lot of detail on his face. Um, you can kind of see it from here. But it is red and there's like black lines going through it. And you can see his eyes from here. Um, but yeah, so... Then you can see, like, kind of like with Wolverine here, like, you can see, like, that torso print right there. Um, I did the same thing. I did both of those with uh, my knife, and you can kind of see if I get the light on it right. I did do his belt. That looks actually, like, better than Wolverine's. Definitely, like, the best, like, torso print I did on black. And you can see, like, the belt right there, and then I even did, like, the two robe, and you can see, like, where the robe opens up, and then the little, like, robe um, neck cuff and everything. So it looks really, really good. You can kind of see it when I turn it and everything, but, yeah, so... That's really all the detail. Pretty much, he's completely just black and everything in that. But I did do his lightsaber, his face, and his uh little chest torso print. And uh, that's one of my favorite like Lego details and everything. It's just like robes on like Jedi's and Sith. So that's definitely really cool. I just love how they detailed they are and how they look and everything. So yeah, so that is Darth Maul, first one I completed. So on to the next one. Okay, so again with this next one, you can tell who it is. It's just a regular stormtrooper. It's no like stormtrooper commander or anything. It's just a regular stormtrooper. I used to have a stormtrooper for a very short amount of time. I traded him away, but somehow I managed to still have the helmet. Um, so yeah, so I did actually keep the helmet. So I decided to make another one. As you can see, this is a lot more accurate to the stormtroopers than the ones Lego actually makes. Uh, but I actually really like this. Like for how simple of a character a stormtrooper is and everything, this is really really cool. And you can see, like, all like I did a ton of detail on his chest. You can see all the detail compared to the ones on Star Wars. Um, his helmet, really nothing is actually different about him. Um, the face, I didn't, I just put that guy on there because I couldn't really use him for any other custom minifigures. And, I mean, his mask is always going to be on, so what does it matter? Um, but, yeah, so his face, um, his helmet is actually completely just Lego's Stormtrooper helmet. I did not change a thing except for one thing, um, which is under here. Um, when it focuses, um, you can see I, there's actually Lego, I don't think, does enough black right there. So I did add black. Um, mine was also kind of scraped away a little bit. Um, so mine just had like a little like dot of black right there. But I actually carried it on right there and carried it all the way down to like under the helmet. So yeah, so I, I just did that little black streak right there. But that's all I changed about the helmet. Um, but yeah, so that is the front of him. I did all that detail on his legs, his little um, leg separator connector to the rest of the body um, for his belt and everything. And uh, yeah, so I even did um, the bottoms of his feet. They end right about there. So I even did the bottoms of his feet for black and everything. And so yeah, so that is the front of him. The blaster I didn't change at all. It's just a medium sized out of the like pistol, small ones, medium ones, and large ones. Um, that's the medium sized blaster. That is the side view. I even did uh, pr some printing right there, so you can see like where his like um, chest plate connects to his like back plate, and then like you can see where it cracks, and then like where his arms comes out of and everything. So I even did like all of his like straps on his like knees and everything. They carry around onto the side and all the way around the back, as you can see there. So yes, yeah, so that's that's the side view. And then as you can see, those lines right there and those lines right there carry onto the back. So then that is the back view. This also has not as much detail as the front, but I mean. I'm going to do a Stormtrooper on Star Wars. This is much detail as they have on their back. So I did that little thing. I don't know what it is, but it has, like, that pause logo or, like, that pause symbol or whatever it is and then the little, like, circle. So I did that little square thing or rectangle thing on the back and then that thing, whatever it is. I think it's, like, something for their breathing or a filtration system or whatever it is. But I did did I did that. Lego does actually do that, but I did that as well. Um, so, yeah, so that is the back view. And, um, yeah, so the side view, and that is pretty much it for the Star Wars, or for the, um, Stormtrooper, so hopefully you guys like him. Definitely the, my favorite Lego Stormtrooper I've ever seen. Um, but, yeah, so I definitely love him, and now let's move on to the last two. Okay, so the second to last one, you can definitely tell who this is as well. It is Luke Skywalker. Um, the only other Luke Skywalker I have is, um, actually by Lego. 
He is um the one from the Desert Skiff set, and he's the one like the Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker um from the newest skit um from the newest Skiff set with Boba Fett and Lando Calrissian in the um like Jabba's Hut Palace or Jabba's Palace disguise thing. Uh, so yeah, so that one um I have that Luke Skywalker, which he's still my favorite Lego Luke Skywalker to this day. Um, but I just thought like. Well, that's the one he ends out the saga, the Star Wars saga with, well, the original um, series, episode six. So I thought I would do the one you first see Luke in and, or like how, like the look that you first see Luke look like and um, just how he first looks when everyone first sees him at the beginning or just throughout A New Hope. This is how he looks pretty much throughout the whole entire episode. Um, except for, like, when he's in the Stormtrooper outfit and everything. But, uh, yeah, so I'm actually pretty proud of this guy. Again, I had that, I already had the leg piece and I already had the hair piece. Um, but I never had this whole Luke. Um, but, yeah, so that's the old Luke hair piece that they used to use for him. Um, now they use that more, like, kind of messy hair look. Um, so that one would, would have been better on this. Um, I don't really like this hair piece. It's kind of weird, but, uh, it was the only one I had, so I just put it on him. His face... I did put his eyes a little too close to each other, so his face doesn't look perfect, but I mean, compared to the Jedi Knight Luke that I have, it actually doesn't look ju as bad, or it actually doesn't look too bad um, compared to the other one. The other one is, like, perfect, but this one is not that much worse. Um, so, yeah, so you can see that. I did his, like, you can see that skin. Um, it is a little bit darker since I had to color it myself and everything, but that is his skin carrying on, so you can see where, like, his um, robe comes and connects and everything. Um, first I'll do the back printing, I guess, but you can see the back, um, basically on the back, um, it's just his belt that carries around all the way through, so that is the back view of it, um, for his belt, and the wrinkles for his robe and everything, and then the side views, nothing much, just still his, um, belt, like I said, it continues all the way around, and then on the other side, and it definitely is completely symmetrical and carries around very smoothly and nicely so you can see his whole entire belt and it also goes around the front too so yes yeah, so that is his face and then his robe where it connects and everything um i also made this his lightsaber the same way as darth maul's i actually took a light gray rod and colored it blue um so it was a little bit darker blue than the rest of the ones actually made by lego but i didn't have any more translucent blue rods so i colored that one and it looks completely fine still and then i have like a chrome silver lightsaber handle again and then the blue lightsaber for um his very first one that he like fought uh darth vader with and empire strikes back and everything so uh, yeah so those are the same leg pieces i did modify him uh, his hair is completely the same but his legs are the same exact ones by lego but i did modify him a little bit same with like the stormtrooper same with um like well stormtrooper like i have the regular legs just i colored the bottoms of the feet like that um so that's the same thing with, like with luke i um but these legs, the other thing that's different from the Stormtroopers, these legs, I, the Stormtrooper, I completely made custom. These legs, I did not make completely custom. That is actually by Lego, but I did modify them a little bit on the bottoms. That's where his feet end, right about there. And you can just see I put um, the black going around there so you can see like he has like his actual like, um, shoes. So that's a lot more movie accurate. Um, so he actually has his shoes that he has on a new hope and everything and then um yeah so his regular legs and i was actually pretty proud on how that carried over to that regular lego robe to my robe that my custom robe piece and you can see his belt definitely really looks good i even outlined it in black that's a little lighter gray so or it's like really really dark gray um and i did like the two little golden buttons on his two um like pocket things right there so yeah those are like the two two pockets one right there and one right there and then the regular just belt carrying on and then that's like the belt buckle right there so um yeah so that is the front part of his belt and then his robe and as as i said i really like jedi lego jedi and sith robe so i did really really good on this one this is like my, one of my favorite ones um uh, my favorite one is probably the obi-wan kenobi one from uh the chase scene with or the chase set with uh him and general grievous and everything the newest one with like the white general grievous and uh, the one with, like, the, his vehicle and, like, the wheel is green and everything, or the wheel is clear and everything, um, so yeah, so that one, he's probably, he probably has my favorite, um, he probably has my favorite robe piece, but this one is really good, and one thing I noticed when I was got done is you can see, like, that robe piece, there's that line where, where it shows, like, where it ends, um, and my, I noticed that my robe piece, it ends right there, their robe piece ends right there, so you can see it, like, perfectly connects, so it actually looks like how it's supposed to, like, his belt, it looks like his belt's actually, like, holding his, uh, robe closed and everything, and you can just see, like, it perfectly connects right there, and I was really proud of that, and I, once I figured that out, I was really happy with that and everything, and, um, 
So yeah, so it definitely carries on almost the same exact shade of white. Um, and then like his just regular like pants and then his shoes. And then, uh, yeah, so that is his robe. And then as you can see, it just crisscrosses. So that's like his main part, like all right there. And then that little piece right there. Um, so yeah, so that is that. And that is Luke Skywalker. So that's pretty much all for him. Um, and I didn't have any more like um, human skin colored hands. That's actually a crack um, right there. <laughs> Because he is an old one from my other one of my old friends, uh, but yeah. So his I didn't have any extra like peach colored um hands, skin colored hands. So um yeah. So I didn't do that, but that's the final look at look at Luke. So that is my Luke. So now I have the beginning Luke and the ending Luke, and I'm gonna put those two right next to each other on my minifigure display. So the final one, and definitely one of my best custom guys to date. Um, out of all the ones I just showed you for Star Wars. Um, he's probably my first favorite one, second favorite would probably be R2-D2, and I'm not going to go through all of them, but these are, I really love all of these, but this is definitely probably my first favorite one, and then Joker, and then Deadpool, and then so on from there, or er, definitely Deadpool is still my favorite, Joker's my second favorite, this guy's my third favorite, and then so on from there. So, um, yeah, but, so yeah, so you guys definitely know who this is. I said that this was the guy I originally planned to do at first, Indiana Jones, but you know what's funny? This guy was the one I originally planned to do only, like, at first I was just planning to do him only, like, no one else. But then it carried on, and I actually, this was the last guy I actually did and finished, but I figured, like, um, there's this minifigure, and his name's Jesus, and he's from, um, he's from, uh, the Lone Ranger sets, the stagecoach chase set, um, and he had the hat that Lego actually uses for, the newest Indiana Jones minifigure, so I just took that hat off of him. Nothing is modified. I did not color any of that, so that is just completely Lego's hat. Um, and then I had a whip and a satchel piece. Um, the whip, nothing is modified, but the satchel, um, his satchel, all that is different about it is um, I, I actually had him on my mountain climber from one of the mystery pack Lego minifigure um uh, series, but, so, I had a katana going through it, so that's why there's, like, a slight hole, but it's really not noticeable at all, but basically what's, um, good about the satchels, it's a little more accurate, nothing's changed right here except for this line going across, to, um, just because on the movie there's, like, that line for, like, the just bottom, like, stitching, so you can somewhat see that, but there is a line going across right there, um, and then all, uh, all that other, that part that is different is right here, um, I'm gonna try showing them a little better, but, yeah, so, there, right there, um, I actually did do the buckle on his satchel. I outlined it in black right there. Um, so yeah, I outlined it in black and then I drew, I colored it in with a little bit of a darker brown than this so you can tell that it is different. So yeah, so it's outlined in black and then I, um, colored it in with dark, um, dark brown. And then, uh, yeah, so his face, nothing's modified about that. Just, it's a Lego City face. I didn't have any other, like, skin colored peach faces or anything but it was perfect that beard was already on there and it's like the same color as his beard on the movie and everything and i thought like indiana jones doesn't usually like smile or anything but i thought either way like that looks perfect for lego indiana jones and his hands are yellow which makes more sense because they do match his face still on like this one but um so yeah but Basically, that's all. Um, his satchel is modified a little bit. His whip and his hat are not, but I just had those three pieces, and Lego uses those for Indiana Jones minifigures, so I thought it was perfect. His back, nothing is different about it, really. Um, well, it is. I modified it still, um, but, uh, so yeah, so I did color it, and, um, I'm just gonna do that, but, uh, uh so yeah, so his front, um, I'm gonna try taking him off so I can show you guys him a little better, but I did, um, his pants were just regular brown, uh, but what I did is on the bottoms, again, I did my, like, shoe thing that I usually always do, and I did his shoes in black, so you can see they carry around all the way around again, so there is his black, uh, shoes, and then on the side you can see that's his gun holster, dark brown outlined in black, um, kind of like his buckle on his satchel, and then that carries on to the front, so then, uh, you can't really, like, see this that well, I can zoom out a little more now, um, but, yeah, so you can't really see that that well, but, um, his, uh, his satchel, or his little gun holster does carry on to the front, and there's a little tiny strap right there, because I noticed there's, like, a strap going across it, um, on a picture that I was looking at to make this, and, uh, so, yeah, you can't really see it, but there is a strap right there, and then it's just outlined in black and dark brown, and you can see how well, how symmetrical that is carrying around to the other side, and it's really, really good, so there's his little gun holster. This is one of my favorite parts that I did. You can actually see right there slightly that there is actually a belt, um, if I get in perfect lighting right there. That carries around completely. I just colored on the piece that connects his legs to his body. 
Um, you can see on the back that is all, but I just colored it darker brown and then put the little strap right there that his pants like goes like the little belt loop. And then right there, I actually did it on both sides right there. Can't really see it, but there is a strap right there. So his belt carries around his side too. There's a belt loop right there. His side right here, of course you can't see it because the satchel's in the way, but I did the same thing. There's a loop belt loop right there. And then on his front, that's one of my favorite parts on this whole minifigure. You can see the belt and you can perfectly see these two. There's a belt loop right there, belt loop right there, and then I actually did the belt buckle right there, and I outlined them in black so they are even more 3D, so you can see he does have a belt. And then for his body, just regular brown arms like that, um, and then just regular yellow hands. And then for his coat, I did, um, I painted them and then brown, so it actually turned out really well. They look, they lo it actually looks like leather, um, so it looks like a leather jacket like in the movie. And uh, so yes, yeah, so that is back. That's his back of his jacket, and then the front of his jacket. You can see it's open like it is on the movie and everything. So um, you can't really see this that well, but that's like his um little like his uh little like neck cuff and everything. Um, the little like flaps that come down on hoodies a lot and everything. So um, but you can't really see that that well. But there is a flap right there and a flap right there, and then I actually did like the little openings of his jacket. There's a line, you can somewhat see it, but there's a line going up right there on the very edge of his jacket and a line right there going up on the very edge of his jacket, so it looks a lot more, it looks a lot better in detail, just you guys can't really see it that well. Um, but, yeah, so, but maybe I can do that and you can see it better, somewhat. Um, but, yeah, so then you can see it opens up right there. Some For some reason, the yellow mixed with the black for some reason, and it was, like, spreading. It was really weird, but... Uh, so yeah, so you can see where it, um, it carries on from his face and his, you can see a little bit of his chest where his shirt opens up. And then uh, his shirt I was actually pretty proud of. I was just going to originally keep it white because on the movie it's like it's not white but it's not brown either. It's kind of like in between. It's, so, it's like a really light tan color. Uh, but I actually did figure out how to not completely just leave it completely white. And um, it's really, really amazing actually. And what I did is actually painted it and then did all the details and then I actually took like a tan colored pencil and then I actually like um drew on it drew all over his shirt and everything and then I used my finger and like kind of spread it and then it made like that really light tan color um so I was really proud of myself for thinking of that and that was pretty amazing um so I was really happy with how it turned out and everything and again like his jacket um I did like the little lines um on the edge of both of the openings of it you can see one right there and one right there and then you can lightly see these, um, they're kind of covered up by his jacket, but I did a pocket right there, and a pocket right there with the little, like, seams under them, like the seam lines right there, and right there, so yeah, so I definitely do like that, um, you can see how it, like, kind of crosses over somewhat, um, somewhat like Luke's, so it's, um, another kind of, like, Jedi robe kind of look, um, so I do like that, and, um, yeah, so that is pretty much him, so hopefully you guys liked him, he's definitely one of my new favorite minifigure, uh, custom minifigures, um, my third favorite custom minifigure I've ever made so far, and, um, yes, yeah, so that is Indiana Jones and my final custom Lego minifigure that I'm going to show you guys today, so, uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys liked him, and, um, just one final turnaround to look at him, so, uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it. So, um, yeah, so that is all my custom guys, um, that I have made so far, and that was actually legit every single one that I showed you in this video, um, every other minifigure that I have, um, is all just, like, regular. I do have a custom Steve, but I'm not going to show you him, because he is absolutely horrible. He's definitely my worst custom minifigure of all time, um, but, yeah, you guys have seen him a few times before, plus I have the actual diamond armor Steve with the bow and sword and iron pickaxe and everything from the ender battle and everything. So yeah, so I have that Steve, so it doesn't even make sense to even show you the custom one. Uh, that's really old, but yeah, so I have that one, and then I have like that custom, uh, uh um, our snow golem from Minecraft and that custom, uh, that custom, um, wither boss from Minecraft, but those aren't, those aren't really minifigures, so yeah, but I do have those ones, they're not really that good, but Snow Golem and Wither Boss are pretty decent, um, so yeah, so those are all those, but in this video I have showed you every single one of my custom minifigures, so, um, just leave down in the comments what your favorite one is, if you're still watching by now, um, I don't know how long this video is, but it's probably definitely, like, really, really long, um, but, uh, yeah, but that was pretty good. I mean, for showing you every single one of my custom minifigures, like, you guys can't see this right now, but right next to the camera, there's got to be, like, 25 minifigures or so um, out of, like, my 250 or so. Uh, so, yeah, so, I mean, for showing you, like, 25 custom LEGO minifigures in detail, that how long this video is, I don't know how long it's going to be, but that's pretty good. I mean, 
I showed you like somewhere around like 25 custom Lego minifigures in pretty deep detail. Uh, so yeah, so I think it's actually pretty good for <laughs> how much I showed you. But uh, yeah, so just leave down in the comments which one is your favorite one. If you remember all of them, um, definitely I would just like say out of Deadpool, um, like the ones that I like. So like out of like all my star, all out of all like the main focus ones that are on the thumbnail, um, including the DL44 blaster. Um, and then out of like Joker, Wolverine, Deadpool. So leave down in the comments which is your favorite one. And if you were watching until now, thank you guys so much. I know usually custom Lego minifigures like Michael MGF and stuff, usually their videos are like this long, if not longer. Um, and sometimes they, they'll be showing like four minifigures and it will be like 28 minutes. So I'm showing all these and this. So yeah, this is actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, but that is pretty much it. So um, before I bore you guys even more, uh, that is pretty much it. I will do like an update video showing you guys um, where all my minifigures will be and um, some other stuff that I made from Lego. Um, just a little sneak peek. So big I can't even fit it on the screen. Um, but yeah, so I will do an update video. Um, not this week so I don't break the schedule again. But um, if I do, um, it will be posted next Monday. So exactly one free week from more. Um, so if you have not subscribed, definitely subscribe and stay tuned for more videos upcoming. Especially that video. Um, so yeah, so again, leave down in the comments what your favorite minifigure was that I showed you guys today. And um, yeah, so the next time you will see me will be next Monday, but the next video you will see will be this Friday, which will be The Adventures of Brendan and Batman Episode 2. Um, and with all the views and likes and comments and everything, it seems like you guys enjoyed the trailer in Episode 1. They, they're averaging around like 35 views or so, so let's get Episode 2 around the same thing. And um, yeah, so... Hope you guys liked today's video. Make sure to like. That's pretty much it. I'll see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Bye.